Hello, I'm Jessica from Burst, and today we're going to talk about sugar and shopping smart at the grocery store. So, a little backstory. Um, I've kind of been into food lately for about eight or nine months, and uh, the last couple months I failed my glucose test, um, and then I ended up passing the three hour one. But I'm having to eat like um, a diabetic. And they've even put me on some Glyburide as kind of a preventative. So I've had to relook at all the ingredients that I've been eating. Um, there's so many diet trends um, on the market, from keto to paleo to Whole30 to vegan. Um, the, the list goes on and on. And really, um, I've been shocked to relook at labels here lately and see how much sugar is in stuff. And a couple years ago. They actually added even more information, we'll say it like included sugars or added sugars to whatever product. And it's just absurd. So today I'm going to give you some tips when you're shopping at the grocery store. I'm going to actually take you grocery shopping with me and um, give you some tips. So nuts are a good choice um, because they have low in carbohydrates. Um, they have a little bit of fiber, of course fat, which will tie you over healthy fats and then little to no sugar, so those are always a good snack. And it doesn't get much better than some pork rinds, like kick it old school. Those are awesome snacks that won't spike your sugars. Shopping on the outside aisles of a grocery store is really smart, but then you have like little sections like this where it's all juice. So be careful and read those labels and see how much sugar is actually in there. It's pretty insane. I've gotten to where I actually will dilute my orange juice um, with water. Although fruit is really healthy and it gives you different antioxidants and vitamins, um, when it comes to dried fruit, man, really watch the carbohydrates and the sugar in those. Just, just no, not no, not the style. So dairy gets a little sketchy. Um, you do need to read some labels because there's some serious sugar in some of these. Uh, Fair Life has been one of the ones that I found with the least amount of sugar um, and the most nutrition. Also, yogurts, uh, like the, it's like a nightmare of sugar in here. So be sure and really read. I mean, just like the old school yo play. Let's look at it real quick. Yeah, 27 carbohydrates, 20 grams of sugar, and 14 added sugars. Just go eat some sugar. Like, don't even eat this. <laughs> okay, so this is another one of those aisles that you have to be really careful about. Um, my family eats cereal. I'm not a huge cereal fan. The lowest sugar I've ever found is Crispix, um, but you do need to read labels and check the back of it. So total sugars in a serving, which a serving is one and one third cup, is only five sugars. Um, it does have a little bit of protein. Um, it's got tons of carbs, so so uh, not enough fiber really to offset some of those carbs. Got to be careful. The other one that's got really low. Um, sugars is just the old school Cheerios. Um, they only have one sugar per serving, but they also have 20 carbs, but a lot of people will eat, you know, a handful of these or something to, as a snack. So I'm in the gluten-free section, um, and they do have lower carbs. That doesn't mean they don't have some carbs. Um, also, sometimes in the gluten-free section, it'll be lower sugar, so always kind of check through here, too, even if you're going to eat and tolerate gluten. Um, sometimes it's just a better option for some snacks. I've also learned over the years that in sauces there's quite a bit of sugar, but what I've found and like kind of a hack that I've found is if you buy the off brand or the grocery store's brand, usually there's a little bit less sugar in it. So if you don't make your own homemade sauce, um, that's a good option to look into is the off brand and compare it to, you know, some of the more populars. For sure some of the inner aisles that you're going to want to visit are like the spices, stay away from the sugar and the baking stuff, but um, the spices and then the ones where there's condiments and things that you can really jazz up and make some good marinades without some sugar in it. Um, there also are some lower carb salad dressings, um, olives and pickles, those again are on an inner um, aisle that you're going to want to visit and pick up some. Totally another no-go aisle, like just don't even go down it. But I really, really want all of this aisle. Just all the bread, all the tortillas. Actually, you can sometimes find some low-carb tortillas, so I'll probably pick up some of those, make some wraps or some breakfast taquitos or something like that. But yeah, this aisle, if you're really trying to watch your carbohydrates, just avoid it. 
So peanut butter is really easy to add to a lot of um, snacks and things like that, especially like if you want to eat it with an apple, get a little bit of fiber with your apple and a little bit of protein with your peanut. But again, like looking up here, going from natural or just the regular, the sugar's about the same. So again, just flip those around and read. You can find some without as much sugar and possibly buy those. Um, there's some peanut butters or almond butters and things like that that need to be refrigerated. So that's another thing that you might wanna look at. A couple of resources that you may wanna check out and just read on is My Pyramid. Um, it's, a, it's a website and they have some graphs of how to eat a little bit healthier. What I'm learning with my diet is really about portion control and the ratio of um, healthy foods versus non-healthy foods. Um, but My Pyramid's a good resource and also the ADA on their website has a caries risk assessment. Um, we use those in clinic a lot of the time to help our patients' education, but even as a patient, you can print that off and kind of check the boxes and to see if you're at high risk for cavities or at low risk and then modify your diet accordingly. One other tip is to remember that all of these brands, whatever you're choosing to buy, has marketing attached to it. And sometimes their marketing isn't 100% clear or transparent. Um, sometimes them saying no sugar, it's not really what that means. It means there's fake sugar in it. And that can be upsetting to your stomach. I personally cannot stand the taste of like a fake sugar. I'd rather go without it completely. Um, but that's just something else to consider, just the marketing. You're really gonna have to read labels, read those ingredients and see um, how much fiber and carbohydrates and sugar and all of that plays into uh, what you're putting in your body. You've probably heard the tip to shop on the outside of the grocery store, the outside aisles. And it is pretty true. Most of the things on the outside aisles, your butter, your dairy, your meats and cheeses, your produce, those are things that are usually safe, um, lower sugar, healthier, it's a more natural product. So choose and shop on the outside of your grocery store. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today about sugar and shopping smart and reading labels. If you have a favorite food or product that you like to eat that's low in sugar, please share below. Thanks.